Michael Afton, Crying Child, and Baby. Spoilers, they all die. William Afton then builds a wonderful home for all of them to live happily ever. <laughs> Just kidding. He does create a home, though, but it's not wonderful, and it's more like a prison than a home. He then builds a circus baby's rental deep below the surface of their house, accessible only through an elevator hidden somewhere in the FNAF 4 house. Circus baby's rental then acts as a harmless, fun-loving guise for him to lure in children to have fun and play during the day, and then, well, die, die, die at night. One day, William Afton realizes that he's been a bad father for being too busy murdering children, so he then tries to make it up to his kids, namely Baby, by making her her very own animatronic named b 4 b just kidding, it's still named Baby. William Afton then realizes what a perfect killing machine he created in Baby, and he decides to use it for his murderous deeds instead of letting his daughter play with it like originally intended, which is the reason for this line in Sister Location. Daddy, why won't you let me play with her? But even William Afton can't stop a child's curiosity, so Baby finds Baby and plays with it. She then gets clawed in by the animatronic, which is like a living trap, and begins to possess the animatronic Baby and is trapped underground for, uh, for a while. William Afton then murders some more children deep below ground in Circus Baby's rental, thinking that enough child sacrifices would put her back together. Spoiler, it doesn't. These children then possess the nearest lifeless, uninhabited animatronics there. Fun Time Foxy, Fun Time Freddy, Plush Body, Ballora, the Mini Renus, and Jeez, man, that's a lot of animatronics, dude. William Purple Guy Afton then comprehends a crushing mistake. He's not getting his daughter back, not in the way she left. So he leaves the area permanently and shuts down Circus Baby's rental forever, with the reason of termination being cancelled due to leaks. And that's it. Just kidding! He then sends his eldest son, Michael, possibly a few months later, with a specific command to free her. Perhaps because the technicians were also dead now, by the way, after they reported some strange sightings underground. Michael then follows his loving father's commands and then goes underground with the full intention of freeing his baby sister. Perhaps misguided with the knowledge of his sister being trapped underground when really his dad is a freaking psycho killer. He then frees her after being chased by the hate fueled fun time animatronics for literally nights. He also gets mistaken as his father, which is, you know, pretty annoying. At the end of it, although he takes a beating from the scooper, but all sources point to him survive. Stop. Wait. Little side note. No, 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 no. Keep, keep the timer running. There you go. So a lot of people seem to agree that during this gruesome and painful scooper scene, Ennard infests the body of Michael Afton, which would make this scene a literal depiction of Michael Afton after the scooper and not a metaphorical one. Think this crazy endeavor, surviving it alive. Well, if you consider this alive, then I guess... <laughs> So then, between that all, he gets springlocked in Springtrap and lives inside the crusty animatronic for nearly 40 years. Just until the grand opening of Fozbear's Fright, which was most likely in the 21st century. One more thing I need to mention, the transcript of the final cutscene of Sister Location is imperative to all of this, so I'm gonna read it for you all now. Father, it's me, Michael. I did it. I found it. It was right where you said it would be. They were all there. They didn't recognize me at first, but then they thought I was you. And I found her. I put her back together. Just like you asked me to. She's free now, but something is wrong with me. I should be dead, but I'm not. I've been living in shadows. There is only one thing left for me to do. I'm going to come find you. I'm going to come find you. Internalizing this now, this could only mean a couple of things, but the most likely of it all being Springtrap is coming for Purple Guy with the full intentions of delivering all the pain and fear that he gave those children during his large and long mass murdering spree.